Welcome back. Today we have Tanji Harry, who's running for Georgia House District 145. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me again. I'm excited to have you here. We are so <laughs> close to Election Day, yes, just a we few are. weeks out. And I have a few questions for you. First off, I want to ask, what are the, the main priorities you plan to address if you're elected, and how will you do that? Well, talking to constituents, public safety, education, and economic development is very important to people right now. And with public safety, I want to make sure that people in our community do feel safe. I want to make sure that we support <clears throat> our law enforcement, um, you know, increase their pay, give them the technology that they need to do their jobs, and also provide opportunities for them to get more engaged in the community so that we can build that trust with the community. Um, I also want to put more money into our MVP, our violence prevention program for our youth. I think that we're doing an awesome job with that. And so putting more funding and supporting that and making sure that our youth have opportunities in our communities so that they stay out of a life of crime and get into things that are positive. We're doing an amazing job with the MVP program here. Um, education. I've talked to constituents. We want equitable education for all of our students. So making sure that we support our teachers, students, and parents, increase teacher pay, making sure we have smaller class sizes, making sure we give resources to our parents to help them be able to help their students at home. There's $13.3 billion out there for education. We want to make sure that we're using that money wisely and making sure that education is equitable for all of our children. Mm -hmm. And then there's economic development. Uh, you know, Georgia is the number one place to do business. It needs to reflect in the hands of, our, of the people who are working. People are suffering right now, and we need to bring more jobs and opportunities here in middle Georgia. The minimum wage in Georgia is $5.15, even though we follow the federal um, um, federal amount, which is $7.25, we still need to make sure we raise the minimum wage, but we need to bring jobs here so that people have salaries mm -hmm. and benefits. That's very important to me. All right, and the next, why do you think that you are the best person for this job? I've been working for over 444 days uh, running this race. I've talked to community leaders. I've talked to constituents. I've talked to business leaders. I have been vested in this race from the beginning. It was never about a district number. It was always about serving people. I have the experience as a classroom teacher, as a business owner, as an advocate for my community. I will work every day to make sure that the people of Middle Georgia, Macon, Bibb, and Monroe counties are fought for every day for what they need here, for education, for health care, for job opportunities, for public safety, for so many things that people are suffering and wanting from their leaders. I want to make sure that I serve the people of my district and not be served. That's important to me. Mm, all right. And lastly, what is your reaction to record-breaking voter turnout? What does that say to you about this year's upcoming election cycle? Oh, my goodness. It warmed my heart to see that. That tells me that people are ready to see positive change in our country. They're ready to see a future for their children. They're tired of all the negative rhetoric. People want to see us do the job that they've elected us to do. And when you see people coming out ready to vote, excited about voting, they look at their children and they look in their eyes and they want to see a prosperous future where they can grow and thrive and be happy and have joy. Um, I think this election has really taught a lot of people that if we don't get out this election set cycle and vote for the things that matter for the future of our children, the future of our country and democracy, it's on us. So I am hopeful. I am joyful. I am ready to win this race. And I'm looking forward to being the next representative of different District 145. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I just hope that people get out and vote early mm -hmm. and that they keep this enthusiasm. It, enthusiasm is great, but we need you to go out and vote and vote down the ballot. All right. Well, thank you so much. To find out more information about the upcoming election and more on Ms. Herring, you can head on over to our website, 41NBC.com.